I think, you know, Audrey, to your question, it's like, or it will answer a lot of other questions, maybe. I think we come from a similar tradition, you know, like I have grown up with Sufi saints, reading about them, hearing about them, visiting their shrines all my life in India. So anyway, I think we are culturally very connected. But seeing your work, it's, you know, uh, it's music in motion, it's poetry in motion. So, so yeah, for me, it was like, I, I saw, like, I, I don't th think I even saw the others. I saw your work and I was like, come on, that's it. So that's, that's how much it touched me here. Yeah. Thanks and so much. Every time I see it, even this morning, I was seeing it, I was falling in love with it again. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I would love to know about where, where you are from and uh, what inspires you to paint. If, if you don't mind, Audrey, I'm just yeah. curious. Of course, sure. Actually, thank you so much for your kind words. It means a lot to me coming from you. And uh, I totally agree. Actually, I'm from Afghanistan. Originally, I grew up there. I came to US uh, five years ago and, and uh, stayed there in seeking asylum still. Oh. And uh, actually, uh, also, I, I, I had a chance, I had a pleasure to look at your work. It's wonderful. And you're totally right about we came from different, from the same culture. However, different kind of the same culture because I also studied Indian classical music. With, oh, very nice. <laughs> with the Sarut player, Ustad Irfan Khan, whose grandfather invented the Sarut. Mm -hmm. And he came to Afghanistan for a few years to teach us. And, uh, and now I play Indian classical violin with all gamaks and other. Uh, so I totally, and I actually, uh, uh, thanks for you to mention that, that yeah, and in India is the. The place where we call it the ocean of saints because it's, my family live in New Delhi now, okay. and uh, and every my family every street you go you almost see a Sufi saint that Khana which which I'm sure there has been a culture in, in India for like uh, thousands of years now and uh, and. Uh, I was so glad when when Audrey told me that uh, you have selected my piece and then when. When, when I uh, looked up, when I heard some of your work, I said, okay, that could be a great collaboration because we could connect and this is our culture that we grew up with. And that would be a wonderful opportunity for us to collaborate and, and, and kind of hear our, uh, sort of share our voices in a way. That's beautiful. So where do you live now? I live in New York now, in Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. So you're not very far from me. I'm in Boston, so we are on the East side. Actually, I come I come to Worcester once in a while. Okay, okay, yeah. So not not far Worcester. So I have also a small uh, property near Worcester. It's a, a small uh, town called Woodstock. Mm, yeah. No. So, so this is Boston, but I I have been during COVID. That's where I have, we have been spending most time because it's it's a bigger house on a lake. So you will you must come because you will love it in the summer. We are right on the lake. It's you like someone like you. It's 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 meant for you, not for me. That house. Oh, so I said actually, the I was in New Hampshire like uh, in the summer that passed, uh -huh. and the painting you see behind me, that painting, uh -huh, is, uh -huh. the, is the Squam Lake, New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Squam. Yeah, near the Dartmouth. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, the I, lake, I, lake we are on is called Witches Woods. Oh. Yeah. It's I, very close, actually. To to Worcester, it's like uh, thirty minutes drive from my house. That house. So. You're most welcome. And Audrey is also, of course, you're, we are always welcome, but she's a Californian, you know, so she doesn't like. <laughs> I'm actually back on the East Coast now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah oh, I converted. Oh. <laughs> Did you move here or you're just spending time here? I, well, I had an, an apartment here for the whole duration of the pandemic. So oh, I'm back. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, great, great. So. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for doing this, Audrey. And, and you know, I'm so honored and so happy to meet Milad. And uh, yeah, any any other question, any other things that you want to hear or ask? Yeah. So I actually wanted to see, Milad, if you have any words that you'd like to share about the inspiration behind the painting Whirling Dervish and what you, where you're coming from when you were painting this. Oh, sure. That's a very good question. So uh, as a uh, uh, Professor Das mentioned that uh, we come from a culture we are 
you grew up with Sufis and Sufi saints and and uh, uh, so that uh, inspired me because I was I all, always wanted to I'm always in uh, looking for kind of combining art forms so this piece that uh, that uh, Dr. Sandeep chose was uh, it's like a mixture of calligraphy and painting together, which is a new phenomenon in the Persian world. And it was, it is not very old. It's, it, it was invented like less than two decades, like 15 or 16 years ago in Middle East. And it was very welcome because in Iran, especially, and we were, we were a group of artists like I, me on behalf of Afghanistan. And I have another friend from Iran, Iraq and Syria that are working on that particular form to kind of, uh, to make it uh, grow. So that's, I wanted to say a word and also I would like to paint with it. How can I do it? So I mixed this calligraphy, which is a poem by Rumi and also this dwelling dervish that's uh, 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 dancing. So it's a mixture of, uh, and also I think I've, we have shared the poet, poetry. Uh, so that's, that's my favorite poetry. So that's how I, it came the inspiration. That's really beautiful, and thank you for sharing that. And I want to, um, Sandeep, so how was it for you to convert Malad's painting into something that's musical and a performance and a composition? What was that like for you? So, you know, uh, as, as Vilad was mentioning, so growing up in India, you know, it's funny actually, like growing up in India, it's such a wonderful country that we didn't know, you know, like that this friend is, not Hindu, this is Christian, this is Muslim. We have celebrated every religion. We, have, we participate in every festival. The only thing we cared was whose mom, mom makes the best kebab. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that was the goal as growing up in India. It's like, okay, you know, it's Bakrid. Okay, you know, so that, you know, like this kebab, his mom makes better. Oh, that kebab. So we would actually tend five to ten friends we would make a list and raid families christmas so if you go to india during christmas you would think it's a christian country you go to india during a muslim festival you would think it's a muslim country you go to india during a jewish festival you would think it's a jewish country it's you know very few people know that we have more muslims than pakistan you know so sufism you know like is something i would say that we have grown up with so much so that I thought that it's ours, you know, like it's like only mine, <laughs> that kind of a thing that it's only mine, Buddha, you know, like when I started traveling, I was like, oh, well, Gautam Buddha, oh, they, they know about Buddhism outside. But like for us, where I grew up, the closest ruins that I would go play soccer was where Buddha was king before he, you know, left being the king and, and, and started meditating for the first time. So for me, it's very difficult to differentiate so when i saw his painting and to me it's it's already music i didn't have to think you know like his painting there is it's a it's it's a poetry in motion so i will say he did the hard work it's all his hard work it's i have done nothing i saw it and it was like very easy for me it just came from here you know not from here so i didn't put too much thought it's like how can i do something when I'm playing, as you have seen, you know, we don't have notations. So it's always about absorbing something musical or a painting, whatever, whatever information, whatever signal is coming, I absorb. And then I paint with my hands. So he painted with colors on a diff with a different medium. I am painting with my hands. So I'm basically just complimenting what he has done. And, you know, Having been to Konya, I have visited the shrine of Rumi. I have played for him, played for him in the sense that, you know, when I'm playing there, I, I was offering my concert for him, not for the audience. So I, so, so I feel that I have that connection too. So for me, I don't think I had any, any option of choosing anything else because, you know, this is family. I, you know, when you see your own brother, when you see your own mother, when you see your own sister, you definitely choose them before anybody else. So for me, this, this work is my family. This is this is part of me. This is part of my, who, what I do. So it, it, that was very easy. And then the color, the color combination, there is so much movement in it that all I have done is put rhythm to it. 
and I have left it to interpretation, you know, like the composition that I've played is also actually, it's a term that Milad would know. It's called Angustana. Mm. It actually comes from that part of the world. Ang Angustana is Anguli. Anguli means fingers. Fingers, yeah, and Persian too. Angus so, means fingers, yeah. So that composition, is where you don't use your palms. You don't use your palms, just the fingers are working. And, and, and you know, it's gradual. As you will see when you see their wishes dancing, it's it's slow, and then they pick up speed. Mm -hmm. And I have not concluded it, you know, in a in a way that in traditional Indian music we conclude pieces. I feel his painting has so much movement and so much depth that I I, I didn't want to say okay, this is it. You know, it's uh, for me what I have played is kind of a dot saying to be continued. How it will continue, who will continue it for how many hundreds of years, I don't know. But yeah, it's very interesting actually, really interesting because uh, first of all, the painting is in Worcester, okay. in a friend's house. And second, actually, because I, I, I consider Indian music very spiritual because I'm sure you had a, your own guru and your guru had his own guru. Exactly. So same with in Sufism. We have our own guru or a master, mm -hmm. and then it goes back to the prophet himself. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a student teacher, student teacher, student yeah. teacher. So that's very interesting point that you mentioned. I lived with my guru. I lived with in his house for twelve years, cleaning his car and working in his garden. That's how we learned. And and yes, I can we can trace his family back. To, I think three hundred to four hundred years of how they learned from one another. Yeah. So that's the beauty. Well, this is an honor for me to be able to feature two of the two of you, and you both inspire me so much. So thank you so much for making the time to be part of this. You are the best. Have you told you that? <laughs> you are the best, and we appreciate your effort. Effort, you know. I think, uh, I think we no longer have the option of not doing it. We have to. Each one has to do it to tell people that, you know, st start listening to your heart, stop listening to what somebody else is telling you. I think I, 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 that, that, that's, that's where I want to stop, that we have to start listening to our heart. And how do we listen to our heart? Is by doing what you are doing, you know, sharing it with people who otherwise probably wouldn't know. So it's, thank you so much. And Milad, love you, brother. You know, God bless you and then, let's meet and i you know take my email from audrey share your work you know i would love to see if even that painting you have made of the lakes you know i would love to see it so sure actually uh, i would like to also thank audrey for her wonderful work that she she's doing for all the artists and she's connecting all the artists around the world and and they had a wonderful project from europe lately and uh, so i really i feel really fortunate to be part of this wonderful project so we can we are now a member of a bigger family it's getting bigger every day and and, and it's a pleasure that uh, one day i could say i'm i'm the mosaics of the bay family and uh, of course i'd like to and um, share my work and one day i'd like to play our music and an indian music really collaborate together with tabla Absolutely. and iragas that uh, we are doing so looking forward and thank you so much audrey for connecting us and it's so wonderful to be part of this wonderful project Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you.